Grandmother of Los Angeles. Bridget Biddy Mason. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most remarkable women in American history. Mrs. Bridget Biddy Mason. The Beginning Biddy Mason was born into slavery in Georgia in 1818. She was brought to California in 1851 as a slave, but she was eventually freed in 1856. Who owned Biddy Mason? Allegedly, Robert M. Smith a Mississippi farmer who, with a caravan of other Mormon converts, traveled to Salt Lake City, Utah, in 1848. Three years later, some 450 Mormons volunteered to start a colony in San Bernardino, including Mason's owner, Robert M. Smith. Her life Biddy's children While she walked from Mississippi to Utah, then to Southern California, herding animals and tending to the needs of her slave master, all while caring for her three small children, Ellen, Anne, and Harriet. The fathers of her children are unknown, but allegedly Robert M. Smith likely fathered at least one of her children. Biddy Mason's Petition for Freedom Jump starting a petition for freedom, the grandson of Mrs. Biddy Mason named O. Unz enlisted his father in the effort. They rallied the local enforcement, along with a posse of vaqueros, cowboys, who together insisted that Mason and her people had a right to remain free in California. That is how Biddy Mason came to petition a California judge to free herself and her children. On January 19, 1856, Bridget Biddy Mason petitions Los Angeles District Court for freedom for herself and her extended family of 13 women and children. Freedom and Prosperity As a result, in 1856, Hayes ruled that Mason and her children were free forever. Mason became a doctor's assistant and ran a midwifing business. In 1866, she purchased a nearly one-acre site between present-day Broadway, then Fort Street, and Spring Street, between 3rd and 4th Streets. On this, the present location of the park, she built her homestead. Despite facing many challenges and obstacles, Biddy Mason worked hard to build a successful life for herself and her family. Being a nurse and midwife, she used her skills and compassion to help many people in her community. She became a real estate mogul in Los Angeles even before the term was coined. If you hold your hand closed, nothing good can come in. The opened hand is blessed, for it gives in abundance, even as it receives. Biddy Mason Biddy Mason was also a devout Christian, and she used her faith to guide her actions and decisions. She was known for her generosity and kindness, and she used her wealth and resources to help others in need. She also founded the first African Methodist Episcopal Church in Los Angeles in 1872. Dying on January 15, 1891, living until the wise age of 72. Throughout her life, Biddy Mason remained a dedicated and passionate advocate for justice and equality. She is known for philanthropy, founding the Los Angeles First AME Church in Los Angeles. California and one of the first real estate entrepreneurs. She was a pioneer in many ways, and her legacy continues to inspire people to this day. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about Biddy Mason and her contributions to history. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe for more.